Sometimes in production and manufacturing, you have identical pieces to make and you have many of them and you need to calculate the total length of materials needed for the production run. So in this video, I'll show you how this is done using feet and inches. First, I'll just show you a fairly straightforward uh, example and then a couple of uh, more involved ones. Eventually, we're going to calculate with feet, inches and fractions of an inch and for this fraction multiplication is an absolute must. Other than that, this multiplication is going to be done without any conversion, so it's fairly straightforward. Just like working with whole numbers. So, a measurement in feet inches is written typically such as 4, maybe 4 feet that way, and maybe with or without a dash, that's a dash, that's not a subtraction, and then another measurement in inches, such as 5 inches. So, if this measurement 4 foot 5 inches is multiplied by an easy, easy number such as 2, this is how it goes. And this pattern applies to the uh, rest of the calculations. So this column here will be the inches column, okay? And we're going to make a total of the inches here. And here, this is going to be the feet column. And we'll make a total for the feet here. Fairly straightforward. 5 by 2, of course, is 10 inches. And 4 feet doubled is 8 feet. Fairly pain-free. The answer is when you double 4 foot 5 inches is 8 foot 10 inch length. So that, that's an easy one. Now what happens if you have more than 11 inches there in the inches column? Say if this number was 3 there, then you would have 15 inches in the inches column. Uh, what that means is that you would need to carry some over into the feet column because you can exchange some of those 15 inches for a whole foot. Let me show you how that works over here with another number. How about on six foot, how about six foot three inches multiplied by a bigger number such as eight. The same layout will work. We're gonna have, this one is the inches column here and this one is the feet column here. So three by eight, of course, is 24. So you write down 24 in the inches column here and 6 by 8 is 48 and 48 gets written there. So the answer is 48 feet 24 inches but uh, of course uh, from these 24 inches you can carry in this case all 24 of them into the feet column. Now instead of doing it in your head I do recommend that you write it down and show your work to carry them over, that means you're subtracting them from here, so you're going to end up with 0 inches in the inches column. That's not a minus, that's a dash, but that one is a minus for subtraction. You have to, you do have to keep that one in mind. And these 24 carry over, and I recommend that you indicate it somehow this way, 2 feet. The 24 inches will make 2 feet and you have to add it to whatever amount is already in the feet column. So 48 plus 2 is just 50. 50 feet 0 inches is the total of this multiplication and there's nothing to convert, you just have a little bit of carry over here. That's how these work. Let's look at a third one with fractions in this space here. How about a measurement such as 8 feet and 5 inches multiplied by uh, how about 5? 8 foot 5 multiplied by 5. No, I forgot a fraction. Let's do a fraction here 13 sixteenths of an inch. Alright, it's a little bit cramped, but this one is going to have three columns here one column for the fractions, one column for the inches, and one column for the feet. And you're going to have to carry over from the fractions to the inches and from the inches to the feet. From the smallest guy to the one bigger guy and from, the, uh, from those one more bigger. So much like, much like making uh, carrying change over and uh, changing money up into bigger denominations. So, 
13 sixteenth needs to be multiplied by 5. Standard fraction multiplication. Multiply a fraction with a whole number. 5 by 3 is 15 plus the 1. I'm just carrying it on my hand here. 1 by 5 is 5 plus 1 more is 65 sixteenth is in the fractions column. Now the inch is 5 by 5 is just 25. Fairly straightforward. 8 by 5 for the feet is 40 feet. So, now the carrying over begins. 65 sixteenth is more than 16 sixteenth. 16 sixteenth makes one whole inch, so this is clearly more than that, an improper fraction. We're going to have to make a mixed number out of it. For that, let me just write up multiples of 16 here. 1 by 16 is 16. 2 by 16, of course, is 32. 3 by 16 is, you just add those ones, 6 plus 2 is 8, 3 plus 1 is 4, that's 48. For 4 by 16, I'm going to double 2 by 16, so it's going to be 64. For 5 by 16, I'm going to add 64 plus 16, that makes 5 by 16, so that's going to be 80 inches. Sorry, just 80, not inches, no, forget inches, just 80. And maybe one more number. Uh, six times sixteen will be will be ninety six because it's so easy to add sixteen to the eighty. So out of these multiples of sixteen, you can see that four units or four uh, units of sixteen sixteen can be made out of sixty five sixteen. So 65 sixteenth is 4 and 1 sixteenth. 4 and 1 sixteenth. Now this 1 sixteenth just drops down part of the final answer now. But that 4 inches needs to be added. The whole number part needs to be added to the inches. Now you have 29 inches. And 29 of course is more then 11, there can be only 11 inches in the inches column as a maximum. So from 29 inches we can subtract 24 inches and the 24 carries over as 2 feet into the feet column. 29 minus 4 is just 5 inches, that's part of the final answer now. 5 inches and 1 16th of an inch. And as for the feet, we will have of course 40 plus 40 so 40 plus 2 is 42 feet. So that's the end result of that multiplication. 8 foot 5 inches and 13 sixteenths of an inch multiplied by 5 is 42 feet, 5 inches and 1 sixteenth of an inch. That's how these ones go.